In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios, transmitting from the mission of St. Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for April the 15, 2019, according to St. John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they made the dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, why has this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She brought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You all always have the poor with you. But you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. The thief is the one that is betraying the Lord. Was Judas the Iscariot only a personage, only a real person of the past? Is there anyone that spends the money of the church, of your church, in whatever he thinks it's fit? How is it possible that I see my brothers in the presbytery that they uh, prepare uh, a kermesse or they prepare some sort of a, a rally to, to for funds and all of a sudden then the, the priest has a new car, the priest has a new laptop, he has new clothes. When the money was supposed to help the poor and the money was supposed to help the construction of the church. You see, those that like money more than the Lord they are the ones that are betraying the Lord. Very much like Judas. They are the ones that would like to wear very expensive uh, crosses on their chests, very, very expensive ornaments, and live large. Notwithstanding that the people that they are surrounded with are very poor. But they are not for God. It doesn't matter that they might bless you or me. If they, are, they behave like that, they would be very much like the high priests, like the presbyters, that would rather kill Lazarus than to convert. Are you seeing something like that in your church? If you are, look for a holy priest. Look for a holy bishop. Look for a holy church. God bless you all.